Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What was the first FPS you ever played? FPS short for first person shooter. So first first person shooter you ever played. Uh, I would have to say that my first FPS was Doom. Yes, I, I still remember seeing it for the first time. I was amazed by the graphics, the 3D graphics. Uh, and uh, gameplay was fun. I never really got into Doom, uh, but uh, certainly I, I know a lot of kids uh, at uh, my university back in the day uh, loved it. And uh, it was different than anything that uh, I had ever seen before. So I'm just curious to know uh, what your first first-person shooter was. And just reading from uh, the YouTube chat, looks like Tobor says Doom as well. GTA says Poopy Fingers 89 That is probably the strangest username I've seen today. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Tomb Raider, Spazman13579 suggests. Wolfenstein. Uh, there's one that I saw after I played Doom, uh, and that was from Franz583. Quake says game dexterity. A lot of first-person shooter Doomers here. Uh, Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold. Quake was mine. A James Bond game. It was the Nintendo 64. Uh, Doom. Goldeneye. Uh, interesting. Let's see what the uh, Nomies have to say. Wolfenstein 3D. Hexen. Uh, Space Invaders, what, was that a, was that really a first person shooter though? I guess it counts. You're one person and you're shooting. I'm going to count it. I'm going to say that. Counter-Strike Source says Sloth in the Nomi's chat room. Uh, Terrence64, Quake. Wow, quite a few. And Bentar says, and this is again in the Nomi's private uh, chat room, says he does not play um, anything. He's never played a first-person shooter. I don't think you can... Can you even... I guess you can get through life without playing a first-person shooter. Some people have. I, I, how can you live, really? And I don't get into FPSs, you know, all that much anymore. Um, fun to kind of pick up and put down, uh, and so I'm more into casual games. Uh, but for those of you who do, even on uh, the computer uh, or, you know, console, whatever, wherever you play, uh, we have uh, compiled a list of tips for you specifically in, in conjunction with how to increase frame rates in your first-person shooters on the PC. If you're a PC game, we have PC gamers in the crowd. Do, do we, do we, are, do you guys even exist? I think they do. Because every time I talk about PC gaming dying, they get all emotional. You get emo on me. So how to increase frame rates in first-person shooters. Something many gamers want to know. So we wrote an article for you and placed it on Locker Room, and I know you like it. Uh, because I, I'm looking, you can click the link in the description. Uh, we have already a handful of plus ones. I just plus one it myself. Tweets and likes. So a lot of PC gamers in the crowd. Maybe we need to do more content around optimizing PCs, Windows, games, and, and the like. Uh, that'll keep you geeks happy. Uh, so a few things you might want to consider, and this would stand a reason, uh, but some people, you know, don't. Um, you know, the, the higher quality uh, the, the game has, uh, uh, the potential to render the slower it might be. So one of the things you might consider turning off, shadows. Uh, you know, uh, it, it may actually be hampering your frame rate. And if you're all about the frame rate, sometimes you can't be all about the quality. Now the sweet spot is having super high quality and super high frame rates. And, and that is certainly possible if your hardware can support it. But if you don't have the hardware, you're going to have to cut corners, and that's really the bottom line. Uh, and, you know, a quick way of cutting that uh, particular corner is by a turning off things uh, like shadow or um, things like lowering the texture quality, uh, turn down the viewing distance if that is an option because it's rendering everything it sees on screen. So if you decrease the viewing distance, there's less to render, you know, the far further away you go. Um, you know, you could also go in and look at certain optimizations in your uh, control panel for your video card, whether you're, uh, you know, using uh, an AMD video card, you know, formerly ATI or NVIDIA, uh, Intel. Uh, I don't think there are a lot of gamers out there who would be using an Intel chipset uh, for video quality. Probably, probably not. That's just a guess. Uh, so 
you know, there are a lot of things that you can do. We've outlined our list of suggestions. We turned actually to our registered nomies in the, the private Facebook group to ask for their tips as we, uh, I believe we did on this one, uh, to ask uh, what they would suggest uh, because they, some of them are gamers. And the, uh, these, these are the same uh, geeks who are very happy that we set up a Minecraft server for them uh, today. So, uh, you know, Tyler asks, does resolution, and the Tyler Gillies in the uh, uh, private chat room, for Nomi's says, does resolution affect FPS? And it absolutely does. Uh, you know, anything that's getting pushed through that video card, the more it has to do, the slower it's going to, the, the more it has to do, the slower it's going to perform overall. So the less it has to do, the faster everything's going to be. It's going to be more responsive. There's likely a law of diminishing returns with certain games without optimizations. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, uh, testing what uh, you know what you want to experience. Some people want higher quality. Some people want faster frame rate. Me personally, uh, I would actually opt for a higher frame rate a a any day of the week. Whether it's just a plain old desktop, uh, a game, anywhere, frame rate is it for me. So uh, there you go. Our list of suggestions uh, linked in the video description if you're not watching this video on the page alone. If you have tips that we did not cover, please, by all means, share them so that the rest of the community can possibly have a better gaming experience. Thanks to you.